How's it going everyone? <clears throat> so I got a question from a subscriber today asking me, my face is getting fat but his body is not. So what gives? Why is his face getting fat but his body is not? The simple answer for you guys is that fat is displaced differently on different people based on their genetics. So what that means, me personally, <clears throat> I store a lot of fat in my chest my butt and my hamstrings. That's where I really store a lot of my fat. So I can go 15, 16, even 17% body fat and still have visible abs, you guys. That's based on my genetics. Some people, what might happen is their chest may get fatter, their arms and maybe their quads and their back and their glutes and their hamstrings may remain relatively lean. So it's all based on genetics and when you gain fat, where it gets stored. But generally, um, even, even depending on your genetics, that fat is gonna be stored relatively dispersed throughout your body but there will be a few areas where it will be stored a little bit more. So that's what's happening with this guy. And I have seen it before in people who are really overweight. You'll see a guy who's like 300, 350 pounds, but his face will be super lean, like it'll look like mine. That's genetics, you guys. Um, not, nothing to do with the guy. He's not doing anything fancy. He should be losing weight, but it's that's his genetics. He doesn't store fat in his face. So how do we get rid of this since uh, this, this subscriber of mine is storing fat in his face but not really in his body? Another thing too is that he, uh, he may think that he's not getting fat but my, uh, my best guess and um, a, a pretty good guess is that he's storing the fat is getting dispersed throughout his body and he's just not noticing it. Because how, how many of you guys are really gonna notice if you put a pound or two in your back? You're not gonna notice it. If it goes on your hamstrings, your glutes, you're really not gonna notice it. If your abs are disappearing, yes, you notice that instantly. But for most people, it goes to your back, your glutes, your hamstrings, you're not gonna notice it at all because that's not your show muscles. That's not the muscles that you look at all the time, the muscles that you want to be impressed. Uh, so yeah, his face is getting fat. So overall, he just needs to lose body weight and eventually that face fat will be gone. So what's an easy way? You know, I'm, I'm not talking about tracking macros, uh, all that fun stuff that I do and that I recommend on this channel. It can get a little bit confusing for some people if they don't know, even though it's not too hard if you follow my videos. But let's just give a simple answer how to get rid of that face fat like this, how to do it. The simple answer is going to be hard work. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. They want a simple, simple, simple solution. Like look up, look down, face fat, gone day. Don't work like that. So what are we going to do? After you're done watching this video, put your computer down, look at yourself in the mirror and just ask yourself, how active am I throughout the day? Seriously, look at yourself in the mirror and be like, am I really that active? What did I do today? Well, I sat on the couch. I might have went and got the mail downstairs. I might have got some groceries. What did you really do that you were actually sweating, like sweat pouring down your face? Probably nothing. When's the last time that you've actually had that happen where your whole face is just drenched in sweat? You're out of breath. You're like, wow, that was very, very hard. When's the last time? Probably not for a long time for a lot of you guys. And I see what people all the time, people are lazy. They're not as active as they used to be. Cell phones, TV, couches, everything like that. People are lazy. They don't need to be that active anymore because with technology, we don't need to be like that. So people are sloughing, they're not doing what they should be doing. Their body's taking a beating. So what you can do, go outside, start running. Just start running. Uh, start running, keep track of your progress. Let's say you run 20 minutes today. That's awesome, good job. The next day, run 21 minutes. Next day, 21 minutes, 30 seconds. Next day, 22 minutes. See what I'm going here? You're slowly progressing. Don't be the guy that goes out there and runs for four hours and is in the hospital the next day. Slow, 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 slow. But progression every single time. Start 20 minutes here, six months you can be up to an hour and a half. It's that 
simple and your body will change like this. What will happen is your metabolism will raise. That's what people don't understand is that when you're not active, your metabolism is down here, which if you have no metabolism and your metabolism sucks, what that means is that you have to be extremely precise with your calories, which a lot of people aren't. They don't track every single calorie. Half you guys watching this probably don't track any calories at all. So in order to combat this, you don't need to track your calories. You don't need to do anything like that if you're just looking for general fitness. But what you need to do is we need to raise that metabolism so you can start eating more and more foods that you enjoy and not get fat. So an easy way to do that, like I said, is to be more active. You be more active, your metabolism is gonna raise. Once it's raised, you can start eating more and more food and uh, you won't gain weight, you guys. It's as simple as that. The only thing you gotta do is gotta go outside for a little bit every single day, break a good sweat, really sweat, really run. And if you're sitting at the computer screen right now and you're thinking, wow, I'm super heavy, I can't run, it hurts. Walk, progression, walk, 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 walk. Walk for start 20 minutes, walk two hours. So in six months, you go from 30 minutes, you're at two hours, you guys. That's progression. You think you're gonna lose weight? Yeah, you're gonna lose weight. Once you can start walking for that long, then start maybe a slow jog. Everything in life has to do with progression. Start off slow every single day, a little bit here and there. People want results now, they want results fast. That's not how you get results. You get results by using progression every single day. So end the video, hope you guys did enjoy. Tap the subscribe button below if you haven't already and please like the video. Peace.